Hey folks, Knox with IT Inspired here today. Wanted to talk to you about something that's pretty simple but pretty important, and that's archiving your Outlook email. Um, lots of times when you're working in Outlook, if you get a lot of attachments or send and receive a ton of email, that Outlook mailbox will fill up. Um, I'll show you real quick. Outlook has this folder that's kind of hidden. It's called App Data, uh, local Microsoft Outlook, and inside of it there's this file called an Outlook data file. Uh, and what that file does is it's what stores all of your emails um, right here. You can kind of see we're just going to circle it. Yeah, there's a couple of them here. <laughs> this, this is what stores all of your emails. This is where all of your uh, emails come in and they just get held in this file local to your computer. Um, when you uh, download a ton of emails and have a ton of attachments and everything, this file gets full. It's got a max size of about 50 gigs. Uh, right here you can see mine's only 16 megs, so it's got a long way to go. Um, but it gets full. And what we have to do to mitigate that is we have to just take those, those emails and dump them into a new file called an archive. So I wanted to walk you through the steps of how to do this archive. It's really simple. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and we can follow the mouse. All right, so in Outlook 2016, to get this going, we just click on File. Then we come down here to the Tools section, and we click on Clean Up Old Items. Now right here, it brings up this little dialog box about archiving. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to choose Archive This Folder and All Subfolders. And as you can see, this is an important part, is that it's only got the inbox selected first. If I were to just click OK, uh, this is going to only archive the emails that are in the inbox. It's not going to archive things that are in my sent items. It's not going to archive things in my deleted items. Uh, and that's, that's you know, a big part of it. Most of our emails are actually held in deleted items because we delete things pretty quickly. Uh, so what we got to do to make sure it grabs everything is we just go one level up and click on our email address right there. The next step is to choose how far back we want to archive things, or when do we want the archiving process to start. Um, so if today is March 10th, and I want to take all my emails that were yesterday or older, I'll choose March 9th. Uh, and that means it's going to go through this whole set of folders here and take all of those emails that are older than this date and dump them in an archive file. Uh, basically, when you're back on the mailbox, when you scroll down to the bottom, there's going to be a new little tab that says Archive, and that's where all those emails are going to go. Uh, the last step is to choose where you want to save this. You don't have to change it. It's not a huge deal. Um, I like to put things on a little folder called Outlook Archive. That way, if I ever have to come back to it later, uh, I can just grab it right there. Uh, it makes things a lot easier for administrators or if we ever need to move these archives. Uh, that makes it very easy. The last step would be to click OK. I'm not going to do that because uh, uh, this is a lab environment and uh, we kind of use these emails. So uh, once you click OK, that's it. It begins the archive process. Uh, depending on how big your mailbox is and how far back you went in this date, uh, it could take a while. It could take up to an hour to run. So um, just let it do its thing for a little bit. Give it five to ten minutes before you try sending and deleting emails. But after that point, you should be good to go. All right, get out there and try it.